Hello everyone, this is my first video. Uh, so today, in this video, we're going to find out the values of sine, cosine, and tangents of 15 degrees using geometrical way, meaning we're not going to use any trick identities. Instead, we're trying to draw some pictures and trying to get our right triangles of the form 15, 75, and 90 degrees. And we're going to use the following hint. Notice that 15 degrees is equal to 60 degrees minus 45 degrees, which are the two right triangles that we are very familiar of, uh, as we have seen it since geometry class. <clears throat> so here is our approach. First, let's draw a right isosceles triangle meaning the um, two angles are 45 degrees and of course we have the right angle here and let's call the leg down here one meaning that the other leg is also one and the hypotenuse is square of two and then we're also going to draw a right triangle with now 30, 69, and 90 degrees <clears throat> using the same base as the right triangles that we just had which looks like this <clears throat> where the 30 degree 30 degrees is on top and down here we get the 60 degrees and for this right triangle here we have the following ratio 1 to square of 3 for the whole leg to 2 which is the hypotenuse and since the whole uh, the whole length is a square of 3 we now have <clears throat> this part here to be square of 3 minus the shorter leg here which is 1 and notice we have <clears throat> get this angle here which is the difference between the green angle and the black angle giving us 15 degrees here also so now we get one of the angles in order to get the right triangle we need to uh, we need to consider the following let's use these two sides here where the, uh, the line on top is um, the hypotenuse and the line on bottom is our base but as we can notice this angle here is bigger than 90 degrees meaning that we still need to uh, fix it in order to get the right triangle we, uh, we expect to do so we're going to extend this line so that uh, we can form a right angle with the dot up here, the vertex up here. Now, <clears throat> notice that we, uh, with the right angle here, we also have another right triangle in purple. And if we consider this angle up here, since we have the right triangle with one of the angles 15 degrees, the other angle will then be 90 minus 15, which is 75 degrees, telling us this angle down here will be 45 degrees, and this will also be 45 degrees, meaning that we actually get another isosceles triangle. So, by the ratio, uh, we get the leg being square of 3 minus 1 over square of 2, which is equal to square of 6 minus square of 2 over 2 for these two legs. So now we get the right triangles we want. Let's rewrite this right triangle. <clears throat> Thank you. 
from the triangle that we got from the last board, we get to, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> we got to the triangle that we're looking for. And finally, we can just put in the <coughs> we can just put in the value uh, the values in uh, for each function in order to get our final result. So sine of 15 degrees according to this right triangle will be the opposite over uh, hypotenuse, which gives us square root of two, no, excuse, square root of six minus square root of two over four. Cosine of 15 degrees will be square root of six plus square root of two over four. And finally, tangent of 15 degrees will be square root of six minus square root of two over square root of six plus square root of two. And if we simplify it, we will get two minus square root of three. Cool, huh? We are using a different approach than um, from most people, which will use the red, uh, rectangle method, uh, which is a way to prove the general expression. <clears throat> but we also see that so even using a different approach or a different idea, we still can solve the <clears throat> um, trigonometric problems or find out the values uh, um, without mistakes. <clears throat> so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to put a thumb up. And you can also subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time.